A wage report warns that long-term care providers will have to compete harder to attract caregivers. Nursing home oversight bill expected by the end of the year and another study links LTC caregiver satisfaction to work engagement and empowerment. This and more next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, December 18th, 2019. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. The average hourly wage that caregivers and certified nursing assistants are willing to work for has increased according to the latest data released by MyCNA Jobs. Caregivers are now willing to work for $12.68 per hour, which is an increase from last year's $11.72 an hour, the Tampa-based recruitment firm's 2020 National Caregiver Wage Report found. The report also found that CNAs are willing to work for $13.34 an hour, an increase from last year's $12.34. Only 8% of the current caregiver workforce has indicated they want to work for long-term care providers. Just 22% have stated that they want to work inside assisted living facilities. With it now being an employee-driven market, my CNA job suggests that long-term care operators compete harder in the wages department as they work to ensure their business processes can recruit and retain caregivers. Nursing home operators could be subject to tougher surveys and more scrutiny as lawmakers prepare to present legislation that targets nursing home oversight. Senate Finance Chair Charles Grassley, the Republican from Iowa, is expected to unveil the legislation before the end of the year. Grassley has been at the forefront of an effort to install additional oversight for nursing homes. In a September op-ed, Grassley said oversight is necessary in order to ensure nursing homes are meeting quality care standards. In July, Grassley, along with members of the Finance Committee, held a hearing on abuse in nursing homes after a government of accountability report that found that abuse deficiencies cited in nursing homes more than doubled between 2013 and 2017. In a follow-up report released in November, the Government Accountability Office claimed that Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services has yet to enforce several recommendations to address oversight gaps found in its abuse reporting requirements for nursing homes. We'll be back right after this break. When you have satisfied and content CNAs, the care is better and you're going to have less nursing assistant turnover. So many times I think they're just, you know, in the trenches and nobody hears, nobody cares about them. And, and it's not true. You know, it's simply not true. And, and this organization helps, that, helps them gain that voice and helps them be heard. We're awesome. And I'm going to hold my head high and I'm going to ride this magic carpet and I'm going to change the world. That's what NACA did for me. For more information, visit us online at nakacna.org or call 417-623-6049. Nursing home care staff who are empowered and frequently engaged are more likely to be satisfied with their jobs, according to yet another study, this time published in the Journal of Post-Acute and Long-Term Care Medicine. A Canadian research team was able to link job satisfaction among LTC caregivers with several demographic, individual, and organizational factors. While work engagement and empowerment were linked to higher job satisfaction scores among caregivers, emotional exhaustion or burnout was perhaps unsurprisingly linked to lower job satisfaction. Investigators also found that LTC caregivers are more likely to be satisfied with their work when provided with adequate orientations and organizational space. Researchers used responses from 756 nurses in 89 residential long-term care settings in three Western Canadian provinces. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.